Welcome back to A216 Live at 5. I'm Ethan Brazell, and I'm here to give you your sports update. Now, right now, the Christian Brothers Buccaneers are taking on the Harding Bisons baseball team here in Searcy, Arkansas. That game is still in, that game is still going on and it's wrapping up. We'll take a look at the results of that game at the end of the show. Now, when a team has to play in the first round of their district tournament, it means that a loss would end their season right then and there. But the Bald Knob Lady Bulldogs, with the help of point guard Sidney Roach, made sure that didn't happen last night in their first round win. The Lady Bulldogs won 56-30 over the Harrisburg Lady Hornets in the 2-3A and a district tournaments at Cedar Ridge, Cedar Ridge High School. In the first quarter, Roach scored 10 of her team high 12 points, including a pair of threes as well. And they get to be the home team tonight when they face the Lady Timberwolves, who beat the Lady Bulldogs at home back in January on a last second three by Cedar Ridge's Lady Ryder. Just like yesterday, a loss tonight will end Bald Knob season, so we'll see how that turns out. Now, NASCAR driver Ryan Newman was released from the hospital today, just two days after a fiery wreck at the Daytona 500. Roush Fenway Racing tweeted on his progress, saying Newman is now walking around. It said he's also been joking around with staff, friends, and family members, and spending time with his two daughters. On Monday, Newman's car spun out and crashed just before he crossed the Daytona 500 finish line. The car caught on fire, and rescue crews had to cut out the roof of the car to get Newman out. He was rushed to the hospital in serious condition, but now it seems he's doing much better after that crash. Now, a big man on the basketball court now wants to score some points with young readers. LeBron James, who's considered to be one of the greatest of all time, is now entering a new industry and writing children's picture books. Now, this, this book is set to release in August, and according to the publisher, HarperCollins, the book is titled I Promise. That's also the name of a children's program in a public school that he also started in his hometown of Akron, Ohio. He says his goal is to inspire children and get kids and parents reading together. The deal with HarperCollins also involves a second book, a novel for middle school grade, school, grade students that he plans to release next year.